Over the last few videos, we've taken a dive into explaining the main factors I look at when breaking down pitch design, utilizing today's top technologies. And today's video is going to be no different. We've already gone through the fastball, curveball, and slider. So that leaves one major pitch type left, the changeup. Before we jump into it, welcome back to another video, guys. If you're new here and you're a coach, player, or trainer interested in learning more about the practical applications of data-driven baseball, you've come to the right place. Join the movement now by clicking the subscribe button down below for more weekly baseball animations. As we've started the last three videos on pitch design, we will begin this one by breaking down what the average MLB changeup looks like. As noted in those videos, the goal of this is to show you all of these pitches on the same level. Then you could scale them to whatever level you're at currently. The average MLB changeup in 2019 came in at about 85 miles per hour which falls in the range we described in a previous video of about 8 to 12 miles per hour slower than the average fastball. The average spin rate of this pitch is just above 1700. As we've talked about in the past, you could use Bauer units to scale this spin rate number to different velocities. However, the lower velocity and lower spin rate provides inconsistent feedback for this pitch, so it's not really applicable. To give you an idea, the range for qualified pitchers spin rates last year in the MLB ranged from 1200 to 2400 RPM. And when you see higher spin rate changeups, it often correlated with high spin rate fastballs. The usage percentage for this pitch stayed right around 10% over the last decade. However, this year it sneaked up to just about 11%. Now for the good stuff. What are the important factors I look for when analyzing a changeup? The first two on this list have appeared on every pitch type video I've done so far on this channel and that is the pitch velocity and the pitch's movement. However, the last two are more important factors, and those are replicating the fastball delivery on the changeup. For example, making sure your release point is consistent, while also determining the player's best changeup grip. All these factors go into creating a quality pitch, so let's take this a step further. First things first, let's look at the changeup's movement profile by mapping out the pitch's normal horizontal and vertical movement patterns alongside the normal tilt for these pitch variants. As always, we will be looking at a right-handed pitcher in this case. Everything can be flipped for lefties. We will start by determining four different types of changeups based on their movement profiles and tilt. Those categories include the circle change, the straight change, the frisbee change, and the split change. The circle change is the pitch that I see most frequently, and the movement profile on this pitch varies more than any other pitch type as it ranges from a 12 o'clock tilt all the way down to a 3 o'clock tilt, which equates to quite a large area on our movement plot. In my experience, the circle change performs best at this much smaller range, so that's what we'll put up here for this. Now to the straight change. It falls between 12 o'clock and 1.30 on our tilt chart, falling right around here on our movement plot. Next is our frisbee change, which is more rare than the previous two changeup types with a ton more horizontal break than vertical break. It sits between a 230 and 330 tilt and takes a special sort of pitcher to pull off pitch movement profiles like this one. Lastly is the split change, or splitter. This pitch type is held with a much different grip than the other three pitches, aimed towards killing spin rate, and therefore a good amount of break as well. Typically, I've seen this pitch come out at around a 12 to 12.30 tilt and be pretty effective. But this is another pitch that I've seen vary based on the pitcher's arm slot. Because this pitch has a lower spin rate than the rest, its movement profile reflects this, making it closer to the origin. In my personal experience, the nastier wipeout changeups have all had one thing in common. They fall below this line on the movement profile chart. That equates to about below a 2.15 tilt. I've seen good changeups all across the board, but the best ones I've seen have always hit this mark. So great, now that we understand the way each of these different types of changeups move, let's check out each of these pitch types a little bit more in depth. As we stated in the last clip, these are the four types of changeups we are looking at. The circle, straight, frisbee, and split change. We are going to take this analysis a step further by looking at the numbers tied to these pitches. These ranges are provided by a nice graphic I found from Rapsodo on their website describing MLB average for these pitches, so check that out in the link down below. The categories we are going to look at are spin rate, the pitch's ideal tilt, spin efficiency, and the arm slot that I see most frequently with these pitch types. The first is our circle change. It falls in the same range of spin rate that we described on the first slide. 
And as I noted in the last clip, the tilt I've seen on this pitch to be most successful is when it's between 2 and 3 o'clock. The typical spin efficiency for this pitch is 65% or above, and I see this pitch mostly with 3 quarter arm slot guys, but like I said, this one ranges across the board. Next is the straight change. Again, this pitch comes in with similar spin rate, but a much higher tilt and spin efficiency. This is because it is typically thrown by overhand throwers, or guys who throw straight over the top. Next is our frisbee change. This is the opposite of our straight change, however it does come in with about the same spin rate, but a much lower tilt. The spin efficiency on this pitch is around 85% or above, and it generates its unique movement profile mostly because of the athlete's arm slot. Typically I've only seen this movement profile out of guys who throw sidearm or submarine. Lastly is the split changeup. This is the only variant of the pitch that has a lower spin rate than the rest. The ideal tilt is the same as we described above, and the spin efficiency is a high 90%. With this pitch, I've honestly seen just about any arm slot have some amount of success with it. When thrown properly, this pitch produces results. Alright, so now that we've taken a look at all of the numbers around this pitch, let's talk about some of the most important factors for a changeup. When looking through data, there's a clear visual I talked about in my analyzation of TrackMan data visualization that displayed the color-coded release point of each pitch. This is incredibly important for the changeup, almost more important than any other pitch type. If your average fastball release point is here, however, your changeup is down here, that is a dead giveaway to a hitter no matter what the movement profile is. So if you can get this release point marginally closer to your fastball release point, that is the quickest way to see better results from your changeup. The trick of a changeup is that it looks like a fastball until it's not. And that heater drops right off the table producing a swing and miss right over the path of the ball. And oftentimes, looking at this release point data, you can pick up on trends of an athlete overthrowing this pitch or manipulating their body too much to try and get the desired movement profile. So use your eyes when working on this pitch with an athlete. Can you see if they're slowing down their arm in order to take off some velocity? Do what you can to do these changes first, because oftentimes that will fix your release point on its own. Like anything, this takes a lot of trial and error. Not one of these pitch types is going to produce more results or is the correct answer for every single guy. Test them each out, play with them on your own, and see what works for you. Thanks for watching. If you liked today's video or you just want to support the channel, please leave a like down below. Leave a comment with any questions or suggestions for a future video, and subscribe for more weekly baseball animations posted every Wednesday.